Zandam is a city located in the province of North Holland in the Netherlands, just north of Amsterdam. It is part of the municipality of Zandstad. Zandam has a rich cultural heritage, with historic buildings, museums, and landmarks. The Tsar Peter House is a wooden house where Russian Tsar Peter the Great stayed during his visit to Zandam in 1697. The Monet Atelier Zandam is a replica of the French Impressionist painter Claude Monet's studio, commemorating his famous series of paintings depicting the Zandam landscape. One of the most striking features of the Intel Hotel's Amsterdam Zondam is its facade, which is a playful and modern interpretation of the traditional Zons houses that are characteristic of the Zon region. The hotel's exterior is composed of 70 stacked green wooden houses, creating a colorful and eye-catching mosaic that pays homage to the area's architectural heritage. Zandam is conveniently located just a short train ride away from Amsterdam, making it easily accessible for visitors. The Zandam railway station is a major transportation hub, with frequent trains connecting Zandam to Amsterdam, Schiphol Airport, and other cities in the Netherlands. The Monet Atelier in Zandam is a small museum and exhibition space dedicated to the renowned French Impressionist painter, Claude Monet. It is located in the heart of Zandam, a city in the Netherlands known for its picturesque architecture and historic charm. Zandam offers a variety of shopping and dining options, with modern shopping malls, boutique stores, and restaurants. Zandam offers a blend of history, culture, and modern amenities, 
making it a charming destination for visitors interested in exploring the heritage of the Zonstreek region and experiencing Dutch hospitality. Zonschans is a picturesque open-air museum located near Zondam in the province of North Holland, Netherlands. It is renowned for its well-preserved historic windmills, traditional wooden houses, and artisan workshops, offering visitors a glimpse into the industrial heritage of the Zonstreek region. The Zonschans features a cluster of well-preserved wooden houses, barns, and warehouses, typical of the architectural style of the Zonstreek region. These traditional buildings are painted in vibrant colors and adorned with decorative details, creating a picturesque and charming atmosphere. Zonschans is home to a collection of historic windmills dating back to the 17th and 18th centuries. These windmills were used for various purposes, including grinding flour, sawing timber, and extracting oil. Visitors can explore the interior of some of these windmills and learn about traditional Dutch milling techniques. Zant Shans features several museums and exhibitions dedicated to the industrial heritage and cultural history of the Zonstreek region. The Zans Museum offers interactive exhibits on the history of the Zant Shans area, while the Weaver's House provides insights into traditional textile production.
Zan's Shans is situated along the banks of the River Zan, offering scenic views of the surrounding countryside and waterways. Visitors can stroll along the waterfront promenades, cross over quaint wooden bridges, and admire the picturesque landscapes dotted with windmills and historic buildings. The Wooden Shoe Workshop, located in Zanschans, Netherlands, is a traditional craftsman's workshop where visitors can witness the process of making wooden shoes, also known as clogs or klompen in Dutch. It is situated within the Zanschans Open Air Museum. Wooden shoes have been worn in the Netherlands for centuries, originally as practical footwear for farmers, fishermen, and laborers working in wet or muddy conditions. Today, they are also appreciated as a symbol of Dutch culture and tradition. The Wooden Shoe Workshop at Zans Shans offers visitors a glimpse into the history and craftsmanship of this iconic footwear. At the Wooden Shoe Workshop, skilled craftsmen demonstrate the traditional techniques used to carve, shape, and paint wooden shoes by hand. Visitors can observe the process from start to finish, as raw wooden blocks are transformed into finished clogs using specialized tools and equipment.